Today we are very pleased to release the enhanced version of SRS, our stamp recognition software. Our research and development department has introduced a new engine to SRS which makes the results of searches almost instantaneous. You can now search for any stamp image in a country and have the results in less than a second. Yes, that is one second. In most instances only one stamp is returned. The new SRO, SRS mode is called Warp. The best way to describe it is to show you, so let's begin. I've scanned a few images already and we can just use those for demonstration purposes. So in Easy Stamp right now I have the USA database open. We'll simply start SRS, which I'll do now. And then we check the warp option and have it automatically search the levels. And then we all, you can also paste images from the clipboard or drag and drop them into the SRS window. So let's begin by loading an image. And I'm going to choose uh, let's choose this one. Okay, once it's loaded, just click start search. As you can see, instantaneously we got two hits. There's our stamp right there. Okay. If you notice in the search that we did, we're, uh, the results show will also show you any varieties. Let's paste an image from the clipboard. So I'm going to paste one here. I've already got one in there. I click on search, and right away again we got two hits: number 397 and 401, the two different varieties of that particular stamp. As you can see, the results are there before you in a blink of an eye. To limit the search, you can easily enter a denomination. This will help reduce the number of hits by filtering, filtering out non-relevant stamps. So let's load this stamp here. Oops. Okay. So let's do a search with no filtering. As you can see, we got about a, two pages of hits. I believe this is our stamp here. But watch what happens when we put in the denomination. And do the search again. We get simply the stamp that we want. Since SRS warp is so fast, you can easily do these searches over and over. Okay, let's load a different stamp. Let's choose this 4 cent airmail. So again, we'll do it without a denomination first. As you see, we got multiple hits. I believe if we put in the four cents and do the search again, there's our stamp right there. Let's try loading a different image. Keep hitting the wrong button here. Okay, let's load this five center. We'll turn it denomination off, do the search, and it found that one right away. Let's try a more difficult stamp here. Let's load this guy here. So I just loaded an eight cent stamp with no denomination. We start the search. As you can see, we got four pages of hits. That's a bit more than what I want to look for. But if you filter in the denomination, watch what happens. Instantaneously you get all the eight centers that match this including all the varieties. Let's try one more. Let's do this 15 cent. And there's our stamp right there. And let's do another one. And let's load this guy here. Let's type in 16 cents. And there's your two stamps, the two varieties right there. And let's load one last one. Let's load this one here. Get rid of the denomination. 
search and there's our stamp right there. If we wanted to filter these ones out you could just as easily just type in the denomination here and there you go. Let's, uh, let's switch to the UN so I can show you that this works for all the countries. So let's open up the UN and let's load our UN stamp. And click on search. And there it is right away. And let's load one other UN stamp. And let's load this one. That one's a 30 center. Click start. And there it is. Again, only found the one very, very quickly. Let's switch over to Canada. Start SRS. Turn on the warp. Load our images. And there it's found all four varieties of this one dollar stamp. Let's load another one. In this case we found two stamps. We can easily filter that out if you just do a search for the P denomination. And there it is. And let's load one of my favorite stamps here, the blue nose, which is right here. Put in the 50 cent, start the search, and there they are. All the varieties including the official. Finally let's do a couple of uh, Great Britain stamps. And I'll open the Great Britain database, start SRS, and let's load an image. And let's do it without a uh, denomination. And there it is. And finally, let's do one last one. And there's our souvenir sheet. We can start this one. And as you see, we got a few. There's our stamp. But we can easily narrow that down by typing in the first denomination. And there's our simple one. And as before, as in our other videos, if you want to inventory this stamp, you just right-click on it, add that to your inventory, close out SRS, and there it is ready to be inventoried. As you can see, SRS is an incredible tool to have at your fingertips when identifying your stamps. No other software can provide this kind of speed for searching stamp images. As a matter of fact, I don't believe there is any other uh, image recognition, stamp recognition software out there available. Anyways, we hope you've enjoyed this video. To purchase SRS and Easy Stamp, just visit our website at www.ezstamp.com. Just type that in, in in your address bar, and it'll take you to our homepage. All right, thank you for watching.